Hello students, this is Mrs. Lee and I am going to be delivering instruction on our lesson today, explaining relationships in scientific and technical texts. Before we get started, I want to look at our fifth grade standard and this is RI 5.3, which RI we know is the informational standard. It says that we need to be able to, in fifth grade, explain the relationships or interactions between two or more individuals, events, ideas, or concepts in a historical, scientific, or technical text based on specific information in the text. So let's look at our objective today. Our objective states that today, by the end of watching this video, we will be able to complete a graphic organizer with determining the major events in a text and the relationship between those events. And then I want to go ahead and tell you what mastery will look like. You'll know you got it when you are able to determine the major events in the text and explain the relationship, as well as complete the exit ticket in the link at the end of the video. So I'll be providing a link for you to answer your exit ticket and get full credit. All right, let's go back and look at our learning target, which states explaining the relationships or interactions between events and ideas will help you develop a deeper understanding of scientific or technical texts. Okay, when you read scientific texts, you learn about the natural world. If you read about why lightning strikes or how electricity works, you're reading a scientific text. When you read technical texts, you are learning to make or do something. If you read the directions for using a cell phone, you are reading a technical text. Both scientific and technical texts describe the relationship and interactions between events, ideas, or concepts. So if you look here, they give us some major vocabulary words and they uh, put them in bold for us. So we see scientific text, technical text, relationships, and interactions. So I want you to underline in your uh, booklet or write down on a piece of paper, jot notes of what definition do they give us about a scientific text? What will be inside a scientific text? I will give you 10 seconds to underline or uh, write that down. If you state it in a scientific text, you will learn about the natural world. You were correct. So a scientific text will, we know we hear the word inside of scientific science. We're going to be provided with some type of science, information about science uh, uh, regarding the natural world around us. I want you to do the same thing for technical text. What working definition do they give us for tech? technical text. Take about 10 seconds. All right, for a technical text, if you found that you will be learning how to make or do something. So for instance, a technical text could be um, directions on how to use something, build something, or create something. So those are the difference between scientific or technical texts. Now, in both of these texts, you will have events that take place. That's what they tell us here, that we will have events that take place. And what they want us to be able to do is explain the relationships or interactions between those events. OK, when we talk about relationship, we are talking about how are those events related? OK, how are those events related? When we talk about interactions, we want to know what is happening in the text regarding those events. What is happening? OK. So we're going to read this text, Electricity in Motion, and then this is our graphic organizer that we talked about in our objective that we will be completing today. And then it asks us the events that take place or lead to one another, and then these arrows is where we will 
explain the process or explain the relationship or the interaction between event uh, one leading to two, event two leading to three. Okay, so it states electricity in motion. You're pretty familiar with what electricity can do. You flip a switch and a light bulb glows. You push a button and a fan whirs to life. Turning on an electric oven makes it heat up. But why do you get these results? What do a glowing light bulb, a spinning fan, and a hot oven have in common? The answer is current electricity or the steady flow of bits of matter called electrons. You can't see electrons. They're so small that even the best microscopes won't show you one, won't show one to you. But while electrons aren't visible, you can see the effects of their motion. Light bulbs, fans, ovens, all of these work because you've let the electrons flow. So in our graphic organizer, they give us event one and they want to know what happens after event one and then what does event two lead to? So after you flip a switch, I actually cannot type into these boxes. So I wrote on a Word document, but after you flip a switch, I want you to pause the video and see if you can determine based on the text what happens next. Go ahead and pause the video. Once you think you have it, unpause the video. All right, do you think you have it? Let's see. If you stated after you flip the light switch, a steady flow of electrons go through the light bulb, then you are correct. It should be go. Let's correct that. And then event three, the steady flow of electrons through the light bulb leads to the light bulb glowing. Okay, so if you thought that the light bulb will glow right after you flip the switch, you have to make sure that we add in event two, which is the electrons flowing through the light bulb. Okay, an explanation of the process. This is what you would write here. And if you need to pause the video to get your answers down, please do. So this is what you would write here, an explanation of the process. It states that these three events are related because remember, we're determining the relationships and interactions between these events. These three events are related because they work together. When you flip the switch, it triggers the next event to automatically happen, which is the steady flow of electrons going through the bulb. The steady flow of electrons through the bulb triggers the next event, which is the light bulb glowing. Okay, so just that quickly we were able to list the major events determine them which is what our objective said and then also explain because we know our standard wants us to explain how these three events were related okay so at the end of this video you'll be able to click a link it's going to be inside of the video and there will be a link in the description box in the video. Click the link and it will take you to this form. Okay, and this will be your exit ticket. So it's three questions. First, it asks you to enter your name. Two states according to the text, what would the next two events be after turning on an electric oven? Okay. Question three states, based on the text, what was the relationship between the fan, oven, and the light bulb? So you're going to have to be looking at your text and using the strategies we went over today about determining the relationships in between the major events to get your answers. Once you um, answer in, enter your name, answer two and three, you're going to click submit. Okay, and this will be inside of your description bo box for this video, and there will be a link actually in the video. Okay, all right, guys, I will talk to you tomorrow, or your one of your fifth grade teachers will be doing your video tomorrow.